Legal, it's time for STEM class! Before we start today's class, see if you can remember what STEM stands for. Oh yeah, we've got science, technology, engineering, and math. You probably know what some of those mean, but what do they mean in our class? Science is trying to figure out how the world works. When we study things like light, space, animals, plants, movement, rocks, and what things are made of, we're doing science. Science is also doing experiments to learn what will happen. Technology is a tool that can help us study the world around us and share what we learn with others. Engineering is making things that are useful, whether it's building a cool car, or sewing a bag, or creating a program. These are all engineering. Math is another tool we can use to compare and learn from our results. When we're measuring, graphing, or comparing, we're using math. So today I have an engineering challenge for you where you're going to build something. Uh, first, let's think a little bit about tall buildings. They're so tall we call them skyscrapers, like they scrape the sky. Take a look and see if you can figure out what they have in common. Okay, obviously they're all tall. Good. What else? Hmm. Each one of these has a sturdy base at the bottom. The base has to hold up all the weight of the whole tower, so it has to be very strong. These two structures, they aren't that tall, but what do they have in common with those tall buildings? So, what do you think about the bottom of those pyramids? The base has to be really strong. So, keeping in mind what we've observed about towers and pyramids, it's time for your STEM challenge. I want you to go get five different things from around your house that you can use to make a tower. Now, they should be different things. Maybe you make them unusual, so it's kind of a challenge. You don't just want to get five blocks. That'd be super easy. Make it a challenge. We also want to make sure that these are not breakable or so heavy and hard that if they fell, they would hurt you or the things around you. You're going to try different ways to stack them and see which way is best. You can see in the picture, here's the five objects I picked and how I ended up stacking them. But yours are going to be totally different because you're going to use things at your house. Take a picture of your best tower and you can upload it to Seesaw or Google Classroom. If you're ready, you can go ahead and get started. Or if you want to keep watching and see my example, I'm going to build a tower right here. Okay, so we've got our five objects here. We've got a stuffed turtle and a shoe and a big old thing of yarn. And this is a massager rolling thing and, and a, a bucket. bucket. And we're going to try and stack them in a couple different ways and see which way is the best. I hope all of you will make a great tower out of funny things around your house. All right, and with that, we'll see you guys later. I hope you stay safe, have fun, and keep building.